Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watch this is your video. Today I created this spear uh, train effect in the 5 Niagara. And if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe it. If you like this video, like, share and comment. And let's start this tutorial. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I have found this reference on artificial material, particular creative school concepts. Maybe I will cover more from my next videos like this. Really looks good. But for now, I will create the one of these spare uh, trail effect. So let's say I will create this one. Okay. So for that I need a mesh. So I quickly create that in Photoshop. Uh, sorry, in Maya. Although yeah, in Maya. Okay. Yeah. So this is the model I created. Doesn't look same, but yeah, we can use it. I'll export this to the laptop as an skewer. Okay, I have to import that here. Desktop skewer. And it has this glowy blue material. And it is bright from the top and the darker from the bottom. So it comes with this Lambert, so I will use that. As materials and spear. Let's open this and I'll preview that to my sphere. So, because I didn't work on UV, so let's turn first turn off the button. Let's take the bounding based UV and uh, also I need a fernail. I will use this one. So you will see it has this uh, cyan color fernail. So I will multiply that thing with a cyan color. And fair preview. This is how it looks. Okay, so I'll connect that here. Opacity. Sorry, an emissive. And for the rest of the thing, I'll use this thing. And if I have previewed that thing, it is a gradient from top to bottom okay so i want brighter on top so it is already brighter but i need uh, power so maybe four so just this part should be brighter maybe six like this and i will add this thing to my emissive yeah so it is brighter from top and I will also multiply this even more so can this maybe 10 and then brighter like this yeah so it's now bright maybe I can use this even more yeah and I will use a gray color this type of thing in here. Maybe a little darker. Cool. So, this is our uh, uh, spare material. So, now I'll make a uh, Niagara FX. And then this will be our spare diameter. I will use the same mesh. Let's turn off the post process here. Let me. So we have that mesh here we need to use, and then this material I'll draw it. Alright, although it is already applied on that. Okay, now I don't need all these modules. 
and we just need one particle that should spawn just once when life should be infinite yeah so we got this time. okay and it's not that much bright in here in the particle that it is here and let me also increase the size of mesh maybe three times bigger cool and actually this thing should be black so i'll just gonna increase here and then I made a dynamic parameter and this will fit here. So first is my boost tip and second is power. So now we can take our dynamic parameter and power may be 10 and boost can okay, use the value. So now with the power okay. Actually, instead of power, let's just use the subtract. That will be good. And this will be done. So, so this point two point five. Let's make it like ten. Yeah. So now we put that. Okay, that will work for now. We will work on it later. So, first thing we have this uh, frame. Okay, and for that, uh, I will use ribbon in the material. So, first we will use the ribbon. So, I'll create a new emitter. This is our frame ribbon. And this one, um, we need velocity actually. We have like 100 particles, and we have the constant life, maybe one, we have the different size, maybe 50, and then the velocity linear, maybe negative 200, and then the sprite, I will use a uh, ribbon. So we have this ribbon, which is from here. Here it should be a little longer 1.5. Okay, we have this ribbon now. We need a material on that, so let's create that M ribbon. So ribbon in the planner goes from left to right. So this left is the tip of ribbon, this right is the and of the ribbon so i will use it downstream and hand it and not beside it and let's take the aura again aura here with texture and let's come this and also i'll take the radial and multiply it radial Then we need to stretch it on this axis like this. Okay. And then there should be a pen also. 0.5. Actually, that will be less than 5. Okay, so what next we need is uh, particle color just save and try browse it and in the ribbon I will do that material uh, let it compile so we got this these trails 
looks not look doesn't look very bad. There's too much stress, maybe 45 will be enough. And then I need something to distort it, maybe a uh, noise blur texture. And I'll use the same pen here also. But with the different speed, minus 0.8 maybe. And then I will distort the UV of my aura with this noise. So maybe 0.5 will be enough. Okay, so the and now the density I will use five. This should be faded like this. We have select this. And here we have and we can increase the alpha to one of alpha. Okay. And while this turns wide, this is clear. It was not wide initially. Yeah. Also, when I'm moving this camera, it turns wide. So there is something wrong with the uh, sphere material that is uh, fixed right now. So in the sphere material, uh, this thing I think is not working properly, but it is working here. Why it's not working here? That would be, let's say you have a local pollution. And I will take the mask. Out of this, the green, the blue channel. Okay, so I um, need to divide it in maybe the one thing. Let me just check the side of the sphere. It is 24 height. Let me fix that. So here we don't have no good UVs. What we can do, the better thing will be just apply a planar from that axis, from the X axis. And that's if you have now a gradient that you can use. So now just export this to this clear again and that's it. We import and now in the material we don't need these things, just take a texture coordinate and mask doing it this thing. Okay, getting now you can invert this so the bottom will be black and now everything is Let's try this one now. Not here, but I should have this. Now. Okay, it's working, but here we have issues. So, what I'll do actually, I'll take the saturate for the board. Value is going negative, that's why. And some issue. Yeah. So now we can make it as much bright as we want. So I think this much is enough. This much is enough. So now we have now these trails. Okay, so this tray should be like this, uh, very hard, like blue, cyan. So basically, I will increase this alpha even more, like this much, and make it cyan for now. Okay, so we got some issues. And so, in the tiling, I'll make it. 
to you know, like five and one and three. And then distortion maybe point two. And I will also multiply this thing with the color. Same this. So now we have that black edges that I want. Okay. And then instead of this aura, I will use the blurred aura this way. Yeah. So for the tiling, let's make a parameter so we can help this that. I will multiply it with the up end vector and then take a dynamic parameter that is no x and this is my y tiling. X and y. So now here, if I take the dynamic parameter, and let me increase the point on. So by default is zero zero. Let's make it one. Stop this. And you can adjust this. This should be like this much long. Yeah, this much is good. That's fine for me. And the width, I will make it 60, 70. And yeah. Okay. And then, uh, it has also a glow. And um, also do start. So if I duplicate this and make it like trail below, what I can do in this one is make the tiling zero. So why is okay because of distortion? So let's make a distort. Parameter. So distort was 0 0.3 by default. So in the previous one, I will make it 0.3. And in this one, it is 0. So uh, if I make this like 1, 5, we have this low and we can make it more 5. No issue with that flow. It's actually flickering because of the pan speed. So I will make Parameter for that also time. So this is my time. So now default should be one. So in this one it should be one, and in here it is zero. Not visible on the wire. That would be so. I'll actually add some and um, some sprites for that. So first, I will duplicate this layer and place it here. And in this one, I'll change slightly color and also this parameter. So tiling and point. 
I will also make this little fading. So, something like that. And also, the light maybe I am making too. Yeah. Cool. And now I will add glow. So, for that, I will add a meter. Sound pens. And this glow, you can see particle coming from there. Uh, I will delete the actually reduce the gravity and the velocity and the field the linear and minus 10. Okay, and spawn rate may be 10 and size may be not too different. And and scale in this, uh, fade in, fade out. And also, part of this should be scale, so size, and initial this should be 0, and 0.2, 0.3, 0.5, and 0.5. So, I can make it like uh, color over light. I'll give the color. Uh, initially, it is uh, almost white, and then turn to blue. And here, the spawn rate may be 30. Okay, then sphere size may be 0. And also, this side will be 30. And the minus one. And the velocity is a little more. And then you can make the alpha at the one zero one. Actually, alpha will work here now because we have this data point one or oh, point zero one. So there will be very subtle glow. Then we need to add some black stars. So I'll make a material. And I have already done in lots of tutorial and I have a separate tutorial on that. So you can just watch this one. So how to make the star material three days back. So I'll just quickly do that. So texture coordinate and subtract 0.5, make the UV in center, then absolute for the negative to positive, and then mass to add green, green separate, green plus one, which is number n. Then multiply these together. And take them because these are uh, in the reference very sharp. So I will take the, or you can just take the power. That's okay. Okay, so you can raise it a little high. So uh, I'm also thinking why it's not visible. So basically, you have. Here gradient here. Actually, here you have a black star, you need to invert that in then with the power. And to to make the points star uh, the pin points, you can take a radial and after absolute you can power these things with that radial. So you will be that point in here. Okay, so you can increase the radius maybe one 
So this will be longer, 0.8 maybe. And you can increase. Here you have the stuff, right? I just take the particle color and then multiply this the opacity. And this is the color and transplant and with the side. I'll browse this and I'll duplicate my glow control D and this will be stars and just use that material and I will delete this color from here and if I isolate this we have these stars so basically I need very maybe 10 and space size maybe 50 or uh, and the size will be and they should not be random rotation size may be um, 20 and 5 and it will be black and the size and you can do this curve like this we have few stars about Actually, need to move it down a little bit. So, in the transform, I'll make it like minus. Yeah, that's fine now. So, we have these. And then, they should be like bright uh, thing here. And also below is very bright there, and that is little uh, greenish. So I'll duplicate my glow again, and this time I will reduce the velocity and make it like uh, 10. Also reduce the gravity, and this should be greenish, turquoise. And the brightness maybe actually alpha is here, so I will do that. And this is now long, maybe point one. And point zero one. And the size maybe 14, 20. Actually, the size should not uh, go down. Maybe point zero five. We can also turn on our box so it will have a bell to make it cool and then there is also this pin point spread but um, I will leave that for now. So the next thing I will do is um, if I write this material of how much it's not getting brighter, right? After a certain value, it is just there because in the star, not in the, in the sphere material, we have this saturate. That's what it's, uh, it's doing that. So what I'll do, I'll do the saturate here. Now you can see the difference. And instead of subtract, now I will use the power.
tool and these trails these trails uh, i want a scary color and make it flawed make it curve so you can see this is making it darker but i don't want to make it darker i want initially it should be brighter and point three will become uh, and point three become one again so initially it will be brighter maybe even more maybe if i check it with all things now looks good and we can add something from our side like if i copy these stars in this one i'll make it uh, blue and very tiny one and two and five and one way maybe 50. And we can also add uh, curl noise a little bit, maybe 50, uh, 100, and I will activate that. And in the color, I will use this hue, little uh, variation. I can do that. Some will be brighter. And one more thing I would like to do I take the scale color. Uh, and make it float. Then take the sign. Oops. Make it float. And then take the sign. In sign, I will take the edge normalized here. And then, if I make it burn and burn and make it point burn, you can see the printing. So I can randomize it. Maybe point one and one. Okay, cool. And life will be a little longer, maybe two. And small right now I will decrease back to 20. So we have this. Okay. This looks fine to me. I will not add more. Although this doesn't look the same, I think these are really awesome things. And I'll have to take some time to polish these things. And one more thing, it is here these spirals here. So I can just work on that and then I'll finish it quickly. So uh, in the Maya, I will, because this is my mesh, and I'm using that mesh like. 10 times reader, so that would be. So let's say you have a slender. You have a slender. And you have the same thing high around you. You have a radius, and then you have two segments. Okay, then the radius may be like this. Then in the deform, I will go to nonlinear and take a twist, turn on the segments and twist it like this. Okay, and then I'll select this and delete the history and select the two segments and two faces with this one, this one, and this one, and I will duplicate it. So we have this shift P to, to, to remove from the group. So we have this. I'll apply a material on that and then I'll delete the this top and bottom caps fragments. Okay. And in the UV, just normalize it. So it will fix. And the period should be here. Okay, so D, X, middle mouse. Cool. So I will just export this quickly and back to spiral. 
and then you can definitely go on the top spiral. Oh, it's failing the mistake. It's okay. Spiral. And this will be M spiral. I'll open this M spiral and select this mesh here. And I'll make this two sided um, unlit and transferring. And then we need a texture, uh, coarse aura. And then we this here. We need to just adjust the timing. So this will be like point 0.1. That's fine. Uh, I'll just take a radial and just multiply it with the radial. So the, all the side will be faded. And then I'll take a particular color. See, all the sides are faded. And I'm just coming to this here and something here. And just save this. I'll browse this and in the effect, I'll copy the sphere diameter it here. And this is my spirals. So I will use that material here and that mesh also here. And let it compile. So we have this, but we need two. So make two and then take the initial mesh orientation. And instead of random, Take the rotation and break it and in the Z, take the uniform A and B and this should be 0 and 25 and then I will use it for the motion so it will not be random every time. Okay. So if having this issue, you can just multiply the execution index and you just click on that. Then take the update mesh orientation and on the Z, just rotate it on the Z minus 25. Okay, so we got this. One more thing I would like to do. First thing is, uh, I'll take this flare and this is start. So, and this is the end. So, and I will make zero or maybe just point one. Maybe point two. That's it. And I'll delete the history and export it again. And then import it again. Same work. So it starts from here. And the size, maybe I'll make it 15. Yeah, 15, actually, well. But uh, I'll tell you, non uniform, this is a grab, but this will be 15 or 15. Maybe 15. Of 15. And from the back side from here, this should be more faded and let's make the rotation a little faster. We should be more faded. So I use the radial. I'll take the texture coordinate and mask the green. So this is black from top. So I will invert this and then take the power node. It will be now traded from the bottom, and then I can multiply that with radial, and I will give it even 
So that's it. It's very subtle. Uh, it looks good. Uh, you can increase the opacity if you want. Maybe two. So there's the final. I'm finishing this tutorial here. And thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.